What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about distortions in Pokemon Legends Arceus, and now we know the exact mechanics. And I'm incredibly excited because I made a video on this topic before, but we didn't know exactly what the mechanics were, so I definitely wanted to send this out there, get the good news out there that there is a way to make distortion spawn. It may not be the best way that you wanted to hear, but we now know the exact way how they work. And now we know how to plan for them. And this is going to be great for people who are shining hunting. If you don't know, you can actually get a lot of cool Pokemon from these distortions. So looking at the images here, here are all of the rare spawns that can spawn from the distortion. And there's exclusives like regular Sneasel, Weavile, Porygon, the starters, so Cinequil, Oshawott, and Rowlet spawn in the post game. You can get Magmamite. And you can get all the fossils, so Cranidos and Shielded on as well will spawn in here. This is pretty phenomenal, and it's definitely one of the cool things to do in the post game is try to farm these Pokemon for shinies, especially the starters. But it was always hard to do because it was hard to make these distortions and spawn. We didn't really know how it worked. Some days you just felt lucky, some days you didn't. It was never really consistent. It was always something hard to shiny hunt for. But now with all the information we have out there it's going to be a lot easier. And here are the mechanics for distortions. So shout out to Kurt and Anubis on Twitter for making this phenomenal graph. So when you load into a map, any map, right? Any map there's, there's Pokemon for you to catch. You start a timer, an invisible timer that we cannot see. When that timer hits five minutes, you have a 10% chance of a distortion to spawn. When that timer hits 10 minutes, 30% chance. 15 minutes, 50% chance. 25 minutes, 75% chance. 40 minutes, 100% chance. If you stand on any map for 40 minutes, you will always get a distortion at the 40 minute marker. That's awesome. That is awesome. I love guarantees. That means there is a guarantee that you will always get a distortion by just sitting on the map for 40 minutes. I think that's pretty sweet because statistically speaking, if something is 100% always going to happen, that will always be better than you leaving the map and resetting the timer and then going back through these odds because let's be real, you're not going to be really hitting a lot of chances by the 15. I mean, by 15 minutes, you have a 50% chance of getting the spawn, right? It is just better for you to wait the additional 25 minutes and get to the 40 minute mark to have the 100% chance. And yeah, you'll get lucky sometimes doing this too and get it earlier, but I will always recommend just hanging on the map until the distortion spawns and then you have your guaranteed distortion. So that is phenomenal news. I do wanna clarify a couple of things here. One, the normal percent is the only percent that matters. Rift active only matters when the rift is doing things during the story. I don't want to spoil it, but there is a time when the sky changes. If you know, you know, towards the end of the game. The rift changes a little bit, then essentially it is easier for you to get distortions in the first five minutes. Only difference. Doesn't matter. In post game, it's still normal percent. So you can ignore the rift active column. And the chance of waiting a specific time is right next to that uh, table. And it's virtually the same type. Essentially, if you add up all the uh, percentages here, you get 100% at the 40 minute as well. So you just really got to know if you wait five minutes, 10% chance, 10 minutes, 30% chance, 15 minutes, 50%. And if you don't get it by the 15 minute mark, I just say, wait, just wait till 40 because at then you're going to always get it right. And maybe you'll get it at 25 for the 75% chance, which is pretty good odds, honestly, for real. Now, here are the things you need to avoid while hunting for space time distortions. One, do not rest at the camp that changes the time of day. You can do a rest that changes just, you know, for your HP, but not a rest that changes from day to night. From you, know, you can't select any of those options. You can select the first one, but if you select any of the options, it will reset the timer back to zero. If we were also to go into like a cave down here, so if we were to go into Wave War Cave, this will also reset our timer. So going into any sub areas that has a loading screen, right? This will reset our timer. You're fine just hanging on the map. You're fine. Now there are things that can pause the timer. So being on the map right here will pause the timer. So do not leave your game on the map because no time would have gone by in the actual game. 
So don't do that if you're just hanging out with the game. You want to be active in the overworld, right? And if you're battling Pokemon, you cannot progress time. Time is frozen when you're battling Pokemon. But you can run around and catch Pokemon still. That is a-okay. So what I recommend doing, if you want to be active, you can just run around, hunt Pokemon, throw Pokeballs, catch them. If you try to battle them, time will freeze. If you look at the map, time will freeze. Just the most important thing is do not leave the map. Do not go into any sub areas like Wayward Cave here. And do not try to change the time of day. Resetting the map will be a huge waste of time. Just don't reset the map. and It will reset your timer. Just don't do it. So while actually making this video, we got pretty lucky and we were able to get a distortion to spawn. Distortions take about at least one minute to four to five minutes to fully spawn. So we're waiting for this one to fully spawn. And while in a distortion, you are guaranteed three rare spawns from the rare spawn table, you will be getting a lot of common spawns, either two or three common spawns. All these Pokemon do have a chance of being shiny. They do not have the outbreak shiny odds. So they're just going to be full odds depending on, you know, what you have. So you have the shiny charm, you have dex level 10, you have max research on the Pokemon. All that can be applied, but they do not have the boosted outbreak. So we're going to be getting three rare Pokemon and it's going to be either the first form, middle form, or last form of these Pokemon if they have that. Uh, first form Pokemon have the highest percent chance of actually spawning though. And yes, like I said, they all have a chance of being shiny. If you go away too far away from a distortion, it will despawn the distortion. Don't do that. And it'll despawn the rare Pokemon. Common Pokemon will keep coming in about intervals of 30 seconds. So when you're in the actual distortion itself, best thing to do is run around with Weird Ear. Get as many spawns to appear. When you want to get your rare spawns to actually show up. Just because three can spawn doesn't mean they always will. The best way to make them show up is try to trigger the different spawn areas until your rare spawns will show up. If you do this enough, you will get your three rare spawns. And as I mentioned before, 40 minute waiting is phenomenal. This is going to be our best way to do it. And yeah, it's going to be very long and tedious, especially compared to outbreaks, which is super easy and very quickly to shiny hunt. Of course, you're going to get a bunch of rare items as well. So we got our common spawns right there. And we're not guaranteed to get a rare spawn immediately, but it can happen. And because we are in the Cornet Highlands, we will be potentially getting the Rowlet line. And they can all be alphas as well. Oh, so we got one rare spawn. And there we go. For catching Pokemon in here, I always recommend, you know... If you can get behind a Pokemon, you can always try to stun it and then throw a ball at it. Or if it doesn't see you, you can just throw a ball at it. And you do make money, extra money for distortion. So we got our second rare spawn right here. So we could try to go for it or not. The Pokemon will actually stay for a while because it's a rare spawn. Common spawns will always be uh, spawning in whenever you want, right? So like pretty much every 30 seconds. But you don't have to worry about it you know, unless they're shiny. If they are shiny, then definitely worry about it. So we got our third common spawn, right? I did not get my starter. So honestly, because I have no interest in anything else besides the items here, and I know what I'm gonna be getting, pretty much this uh, hunt is over for me, right? So what you would do in this situation, you know, you would catch the rare Pokemon if you really want to, but if you were just shiny hunt, you're like, okay, I'm just gonna leave the map. And that's just gonna be the smartest play for you. You just wanna leave, and we can just go fast travel, and you know, Go back to camp, reset the timer, and just keep on going. So, distortion's still up. If we wait some time, I believe distortion should go away from what my understanding is. And distortion is gone. So, yeah, if you get your three rare spawns, it's not a Pokemon you want, it's not the shiny you want, just reset the time. As you can see, distortion is gone. And now we're going to sit here and wait again until we get another distortion. And that's going to be how you shiny hunt the starters in this game. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you guys next time on Pokemon Action. Peace out and have a great one.